My name is Bennett, and I am a freelance filmmaker. All my creator friends, bro, and, and all of them are like, finally, dude, finally, you're doing it. Okay, let me give you a quick rundown on how I got here. So for the last three years, I've worked full-time for a large fitness brand called Mayhem Athlete. Mayhem Athlete is basically a online workout programming business that creates workout plans for people trying to get better at CrossFit. They're also a physical gym and training facility located in Cookville, Tennessee. And people come from all over the world to train here to try and make it to the CrossFit Games. As a full-time media member, I had the opportunity to shoot such a variety of content. I shot full-scale ad campaigns, weekly YouTube vlogs, feature-length documentaries, it really was the opportunity of a lifetime. I got to travel, meet people all over the world, telling stories about the athletes trying to make it to the CrossFit Games. Good enough. Tastes like exactly like pork. Grazie per tutto. As a content creator, when you follow someone for like this long, you just get like you just get like attached to the process, and so it's like so much is hinging on this weekend, and like to see what he's been through, and to see like all of it come from last year to this moment now, it's just it's emotional, it's a lot. You, you develop more; they're more than a piece of content; they're people too. So having the opportunity to do this. I can see that, and it's amazing. That's why I love what I do. So. I hate the saying, all good things must come to an end, but in this case, it was true. Ever since I first picked up a camera, I knew I wanted to freelance. I knew I wanted to build my own business and build a brand around me, Bennett Luber. Ooh, Justin, you look good, bro. This <laughs> is the fun stuff that I like, bro. Like, when I say sto storytelling, this is what I like, you know? But as a young kid right out of college, I just needed real world experience. There's just certain things that you can't learn unless you go out and do them. But when you finished, that's when you hit them with the... Whether it's learning to talk to someone on camera, how to conduct an interview, or how to edit and compile footage into a long form narrative piece. And this job gave me the opportunity to do and learn. But I just found myself getting to a point where I wanted to do different things. I wanted to diversify the content I was creating. I found myself filming myself for fun. I found myself making efforts to grow my social media. I just wanted more. So I quit. I moved back home to Birmingham, Alabama, the magic city, as they say. For many years, this was my home. I went to school here, my parents moved here, I still have many close friends here. It just made sense for me to come back and set up shop here for the time being. And it all happened so fast. I shot my last event with Mayhem, the 2024 CrossFit Games. We drove back on a Monday, I packed my stuff that Tuesday and moved back to Alabama that Wednesday morning. And as I transitioned into this next phase, I just needed a moment. I knew I had my whole career in front of me, a career that I didn't even know about. So for me, at least, I just needed to press pause. So 
I'm here in Fort Morgan, Alabama. It's about 30 minutes outside of Orange Beach. My parents got an Airbnb on the water. Uh, we're just taking a few days to kind of mentally reset uh, by spending some time together. And it's funny, I'm so used to the go, go, go of my job. So I, I asked my mom on the way down here, I was like, All right, so what's the plan for every day? Like, what are we doing every single day? And she was like, nothing. And it got me thinking, I think sometimes as creators, we have to realize that there's power in taking some time to do nothing. Other people are gonna want it. Just give me like That's why I bought two. Yeah, but why do you need to eat a whole pineapple? I think eating a whole pineapple in one sitting is a heinous activity. But I did just work out, so. let you in it's like the circus and they have like the the, the turnstile entrance it's like they're letting cattle in to golden crowd under that one we rode back and it got dark while we were riding i think i look better there than in real life <laughs> well that's the think? point yes. <laughs> from the office and then remember michael and then stanley has a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's one of the I just want to jump in a, in a pool of aloe. Yes. You hurt right a little bit? A little bit. A little, little steep. It's that, actually that feeling, there's like a fine line I feel like between, like when you're a little burned, it like kind of, it's weird, it kind of feels good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it kind of feels like... Taking a few days to mentally reset for me at least, is essential. I mean, burnout is real. I've experienced it. I know other creators experience it. And times like these are important for me to step back and reconsider my why. Why do I do this? Why am I doing this career path? Before I moved, one of my good friends uh, and coworkers actually asked me very candidly, why do you do what you do? Why do you choose to wake up every day and pick up a camera and create content and the answer was very simple and sometimes I try to give some long drawn out answer but in that moment I was just like dude I just like telling stories and I know that's a cliche answer everyone says oh I'm a storyteller I want to tell stories but I really mean it like I just am fascinated by life we each have our own unique life, our own unique experiences, and that to me is beautiful. And I just want to document life, whether that's my life or someone else's life. It's such a pleasure for me, and it's so gratifying to me to be able to do that for someone else. And so taking time to step back forces me to ask that question, why am I doing what I'm doing? And when I do take that time, I find myself reaching for my camera. I find myself wanting to scratch that creative itch. And for me, that's just affirmation that I'm in the right career path. That's affirmation that I am wholly passionate about what I do and I'm gonna continue doing this. And even though I needed some time to reset, this is what I love doing. So it's been a good reset. It's the end of the week. I'm gonna head back home and jump into the unknown. What's next? I'd like to tell you I have this whole drawn out plan, like a massive list of clients just banging down my door to work with me, but that's just not the case. It's not reality. I know people want to work with me, but a lot of it lies on me. And as a freelancer, I have to do work on the front end to tell people, hey, I'm your guy. The last three years, I met 
so many people in the fitness industry and I want to stay in fitness and sports. But the hard truth is not every brand knows what I'm capable of. I know I'm capable, I know my skills, but not everyone does. And so what does that look like? To me, it means reaching out and pitching my services to potential clients. It means creating some spec ads or some spec work so that people can see my skills and what I'm capable of. But to me, that's fun. It creates a challenge for me and gets my name out in the industry. And I'm also just gonna continue creating for the sake of creating. And honestly, that's where I've found the most success. So yeah, I'm gonna do this YouTube thing because it's fun. Yes, I'm going to continue filming myself in the gym because it's fun. I'm going to continue to document my life because to me, it's fun. And I'm just going to be patient because I know things take time. And for the first time in a very long time, I'm confident in me. I know I'm capable, I'm confident in my skills, and I'm just gonna take it one day at a time, little by little, writing my story. It's been about a month since I filmed that last section. At the time, I was extremely motivated. I was excited. I had just quit my job. I had just made the move. I was ready to take the world by storm. And I still am, don't get me wrong. But after a few weeks, the dust had settled and things began to slow down. You go, boy. There were some days where I would wake up and I literally would think to myself, okay, what am I gonna do today? Reality began to set in and I remember several points where I thought to myself, what have you done? I just had so much time on my hands and without the structure of a nine to five job, again, everything is up to me. And while at the beginning that was very exciting, now I'm starting to realize there's a lot of pressure that comes with that. All right, we're gonna have a little car chat. So I'm on the way to the gym right now. It's kind of how my days go. I wake up, have a little morning routine, some coffee, some breakfast, I do a little work maybe and then make my way to the gym. I kind of like to beat the afternoon crowds. I really wanted to close this video out. Like I wanted this vlog to be this absolute banger of a vlog to start my freelance journey. Like I wanted it to be just this absolute banger of a video. And so all of the footage I shot previously, I just was sitting on it because I was too embarrassed I don't know I just wanted everything I shot from the moment I went freelance onward I wanted it to be up to par I wanted it to be perfect so that when I dropped this video it would just be an absolute banger like I said um, and but because of that I just put off filming and there were times where I just got really unmotivated and if I can't film and make it look the way I want it to, what's the point? Now I've gotten to the point where I'm just gonna create and put things out there even if it's not 100%. Nothing is ever gonna be 100% done or at least 100% to our standards. And so I just know that I'm gonna have to be okay with imperfection and just put myself out there. And that's uncomfortable it's very uncomfortable. You're facing a lot of unknowns. You don't know how people are going to respond to your content, but being uncomfortable is part of growth. And ultimately, that's why I started this journey to grow. So now we're about to roll up to the gym and we're gonna hit a back day. 
Just kidding. That sounded very Sam Sulik. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna hit upper body. So let's get after it. By now, you probably get it. My life looks a lot different now. And for the better, I would say, but now I have to be the one who manufactures my own structure. I have to be the one responsible for getting business, making money, getting clients, and keeping clients. And it's not easy, but this is the life I signed up for. This is the life I wanted. And it's already been good. Good things have already happened. Almost immediately, I got work and I continue to get inquiries almost every week. But nothing beyond that is guaranteed. But at the end of the day, I had a dream and a goal and it was up to me to make that happen. I couldn't just sit around and wait for the best time to take action because there is no best time. And that was a huge step for me, taking action. And I hope that momentum continues the next few months and years and throughout the entirety of my career. And what follows is important too. How do I go from here and utilize this opportunity to grow, not just as a creator, but as an individual? And that's what fires me up. I know I have a long road ahead full of ups and downs, wins and losses, but for me, it's just the beginning. And whether or not I succeed, I do know this. I will grow so much and that's it for my first ever youtube video hope you guys enjoyed it we will see you in the next one see ya